Hi everyone, let us discuss this example. In this example, we have this series and we have to check whether the series is convergent or divergent. See in previous videos, we have already seen root test and ratio test. So I'm going to use one of it here to solve this problem. Okay, so let me write a in here. So we have what is a n? A n that means the summation inside summation. What we have a n is equal to minus one raised to n n cube upon 5 raised to n okay so normally when we have bracket raised to n okay nth power then normally we go for nth root so the purpose is that nth power and nth root will get cancelled to each other and we can easily find the limit but see here we have 5 raised to n at denominator but at numerator we have some different things so what will i do i'm going to follow the ratio test in ratio test we need to have a n plus 1 let us find a n plus 1 a n plus 1. So that means simply we have to replace n by n plus 1. Minus 1 raised to n plus 1, right? n plus 1 raised to 3 upon 5 raised to n plus 1. So let us take a ratio. Consider. I will consider a mod a n plus 1 upon n. What is our a n plus 1? Let me write here. Minus 1 raised to n plus 1. n plus 1 cube divided by 5 raised to n plus 1 and in denominator a n what is our n minus 1 raised to n n cube divided by 5 raised to n okay so let us use this space see when you take mod then no need to uh, consider that minus 1 raised to n or minus 1 raised to n plus 1 okay its value will be either plus 1 or minus 1 but when you take a mod definitely you will have a positive value so that's why we can write directly this is equal to minus sorry n plus 1 n plus 1 cube divided by 5 raised to n plus 1 okay since by applying mod its value will be 1 no need to worry after that what will i do it is in denominator so when i want to shift it at numerator i need to interchange numerator denominators let me do the same so into 5 raised to n and here we will have n cube okay so after that what will i do see 5 raised to n plus 1 and 5 raised to n so 5 raised to n will get cancelled and we will have simply 1 by 5 let me write so we will have 1 by 5 n plus 1 cube n cube so we can write a bracket cube right let me write it properly so it is bracket cube and n plus 1 divided by n so let us apply limit to this okay then let me find limit limit n tends to infinity mod a n plus 1 upon n so this is equal to limit n tends to infinity its value we have already calculated 1 by 5 n plus 1 so if i divide separately we will have 1 plus 1 by n cube i have written the same thing okay i have written the same thing simply i divided separately so that's why i got 1 plus 1 by let us apply the limit what will happen that 1 by 5 is a constant it will come outside okay when you apply limit to it, 1 plus limit n tends to infinity 1 upon n. So you know that 1 upon infinity is 0. So that's why with 0 cube. 1 plus 0, 1, its cube is 1 again. So its value is 1 by 5. So ratio test tells us if value of limit is less than 1, then we say the series is absolutely convergent. If it is greater than 1, then we say the series is divergent but here we are having value of this limit is less than 1 so therefore this given series summation n running from 1 to infinity minus 1 raised to n n cube upon 5 raised to n is absolutely convergent is what absolutely convergent we know that when you have any absolutely convergent series it is definitely convergent it is absolutely convergent therefore hence or we can say Hence, it is convergent since every absolutely convergent series is convergent. Okay. So, in this way, we proved the given series is convergent. Make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. Bye bye.